will need a bit more effort. I think it would be a mistake to add forces. I do think we need to go into Rafa and well, even if it means getting the population, the elderly and the children back to the north with control so that we can maneuver and capture Rafa, but not for humanitarian reasons. I would just like to dwell on that for a moment. You said to return them to the north. Didn't we say they wouldn't have anywhere to go back to in the north? It's less interesting because there's nowhere for them in the south for all the refugees. So if we want the flexibility and especially to cut the oxygen supply from Egypt, and we're hearing a lot recently about the Philadelphia route and the border, Explain the importance of that to me. Why is there so much talk about the Philadelphia route? I think that for the sake of modesty and professionalism to assume that this oxygen supply exists, especially through the underground, which comes from Egypt, goes under the Philadelphia route and under Rafa and Khan Yunus or not, and so, after our soldiers have done such a wonderful job with the combat support and the regular army and the reserves fighters, they did such an outstanding job, we don't want the wheel to turn back and allow Hamas to get more fighters and more arms and munitions. We want to cut it off. And so we need to defeat this very last part. And the battalion of Hamas in Rafa is critical, in my opinion. And so if we're not mistaken, and there are tunnels there, and there's no reason not to think so, it would create a situation that by the time we finish, it would be like resuscitating a dead body. We need a tourniquet there, literally, to cause everything there to wither and die. 